Young man married an old millionaire lady for her money. Later she made him regret his decision. Owen Smith had always had a pretty simple life. All he had to do was throw a tantrum, and his parents would give him whatever he wanted so that he wouldn't make a scene. They were able to do this because the Smith family was extremely wealthy. Owen's demanding and selfish character grew stronger as he grew older. Even his teachers could not bear to say no to the young man. Furthermore, most adults were aware of his family's wealth. So they did not want to offend the Smiths in case they decided to try and hurt them financially, professionally, or socially. Another thing that made Owen's life easier was his good looks. He was the type of guy everyone admired, tall, dark, and handsome. Girls were always trying to be with him, hoping he'd fall in love with them and marry them. But Owen wasn't interested in settling down. He would date a girl for a little while, then break up with her and find someone new. When Owen was 22, he was at home when the police showed up and arrested his father. They took his dad away in a police car, and Owen felt shocked and helpless. After waiting a few days to find out what had happened that fateful night, the police finally revealed the truth. Owen's father had been involved in some shady operations, and the company he had established was actually a front for darker activities. The older man also owed a lot of money to the government, which he couldn't repay. As a result, the government seized everything of his belongings including money, valuables, and even his home. Owen was left with practically nothing. He could not believe what happened. Instead of being sad about his father's situation, Owen was concerned about losing his lavish lifestyle. He was used to being wealthy and receiving whatever he wanted. People treated him differently since he didn't have any money. His friends abandoned him, and others became bitter to him. Before, he could always get his way, but now more people were saying no to him. For the first time, he had to get a job. Even though he didn't have many skills because he didn't take school seriously, he ended up working in a fast food restaurant. Owen couldn't understand how his life changed so drastically. Owen felt he had enough and wanted his old life back, so he tried a different approach. When his family was still wealthy, they knew a lot of other wealthy people in the neighborhood. The majority of these were families, but Owen remembered one person who he believed would be his ticket back to a life of wealth and comfort. The person was an elderly woman named Eloise. She had lately become widowed after her husband of sixty years passed. But what attracted Owen was the fact that she was now the owner of her husband's multi-million dollar company. The young man believed he might convince Eloise to fall in love with him, and because she was quite old already when she perished, she would leave all of her money and assets to him in her will. Owen started his plan by acting as if he was just checking up on Eloise to make sure that she was okay. The old widow was really confused after her husband passed. She had never actually spoken to Owen, and he was much younger than her. But then she realized they had both lately lost someone close to them. She had lost her husband, and Owen had lost his father, who had been sentenced to ten years in jail. Owen made frequent visits to Eloise, believing that his plan was working. He made an effort to provide her with comfort and warmth, hoping that she would mistake it for love and fall for him. Eloise performed exactly as the young man had hoped. As time passed, just six months after Owen became a part of her life, Eloise realized she had fallen in love with him. Owen was overjoyed with how nicely his plan was working. Now it was time for the next step. He had to marry an elderly woman. He proposed to her one evening when they were enjoying dinner, and she quickly said yes. The couple married soon, in a tiny ceremony attended only by the priest and a single witness. With that in place, Owen moved into Eloise's mansion. He realized that all he had to do was convince the old woman to rewrite her will and leave him everything, and he'd be set for life. However, only a few weeks after the two were married, Eloise became incredibly ill. Owen thought that his luck was finally paying off. He hadn't had to be married to the old woman for too long before he would be able to take her money and start the life he had always wanted. Little did he know though what she had actually done. About a week after feeling sick, Eloise knew she didn't have much time left. 
She asked Owen to visit so she could say goodbye, but during their talk, she confessed something surprising. She had always known Owen didn't truly love her and was only after her money. Despite this, she let him stay because she felt so lonely after her husband died. Just before she passed away, Eloise revealed she hadn't left Owen any money. Instead, it was going to her children and some charities. Owen was shocked and felt cheated. He had spent a lot of time with Eloise, thinking he was helping her, only to find out he was being used. With no inheritance, Owen had to go back to his job at a fast food restaurant. He decided cheating people for money wasn't the right path. He wanted to make an honest living and decided to go back to school to learn how to do it. He hoped that with hard work, he could live comfortably again, but this time, it would be through his own efforts, not by tricking others.